Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 beta 4 when to expect it what to expect from this beta and of course everything else that you need to know regarding the iOS 16 beta 4 which of course should come alongside the public beta 2 of course if the public beta 2 doesn't get delayed for a day or two after the release of iOS 16 beta 4. So let's get started, see what to expect from this beta and of course everything else you need to know. All right, first of all, what I would expect Apple to release with beta 4, of course, a few new features and improvements. First of all, we have seen live activities, that feature that Apple actually showcased on WWDC 2022, but for now, only the clock app actually offers that. So if we just start a timer here, you can see that of course you will have it on the lock screen of your device. And I would expect Apple to finally start pushing more of this of course for other apps on iOS. Now this is really cool and it's actually interactable. So if you're here, of course you can pause this, you can start the timer, you can even close it from here. So I would expect Apple to start working more and maybe release some new like widgets or live activities, whatever you wanna call them, for other apps as well. Now, of course, the lock screen being the biggest feature of iOS 16, I would expect Apple to actually make some changes on the lock screen as well, especially on the UI. They have been doing a lot of adjustments on the last few betas, and of course, I expect them to do the same on iOS 16 beta 4. As of right now, of course, this is the biggest feature of iOS 16 and it has changed quite a few things here. So I would expect Apple to do the same, of course, with this beta. Probably we will see new adjustments and new UI tweaks for the lock screen and of course the customization screen on the lock screen of your iOS 16 beta 4 device. And I hope that finally with beta 4, we're getting some new wallpapers as well. As you probably know, by now we only have one official wallpaper for iOS 16. So there's only one wallpaper, of course, despite the other wallpapers that we have here, the weather and astronomy right there, and we have the collections. But of course, these are all, all, all the wallpapers. This has been added with beta 3, and this is the only one that Apple has actually added with iOS 16. I would expect Apple to actually work more on wallpapers, and with beta 4, hopefully we'll get new wallpapers and of course dark mode wallpapers now with ios 15 you know that there are a lot of wallpapers that you can set that of course offer a light mode and a dark mode based on which mode your iphone is with ios 16 not only we have only one new wallpaper but it doesn't actually offer a dark mode at all so i'm really expecting apple to make some changes on the wallpaper section now beta 2 had actually a really nice feature which would let you hang up a call using siri I don't know why, but Apple removed that on beta 3. So with beta 4, I would expect this to make a comeback on iOS 16. So if you just go to your settings and you go right here under Siri and search, you would find right here hang up with Siri, but now it's not here. Apple has actually completely removed that feature. I tried to find it on the settings app. I thought they had removed it or just they actually moved it somewhere else, but it's not anywhere to be found. And I expect that feature to make a comeback with beta four. Before we talk about the release date of iOS 16 beta four, and the second public beta, let's just quickly take a look at some features that have been added to iOS 16 beta 3 that I didn't have a chance to mention on my previous videos. First of all, going to your settings under accessibility, if you go to Siri, now you will have here pause times. Now the default will be the usual pause time that you get on Siri while of course talking or asking something to Siri. But now you also can choose a longer or a longer. So if you need more time to talk to Siri, you can go ahead and change it from here. Now another thing that has been added with beta 3, which is really interesting, but I won't be able to actually show it right now as my Mac is not already updated to the new Mac OS beta is the ability to use your, your iPhone as a microphone for your Mac. So if you're dictating on your Mac, you will have the chance, of course, as long as both of your devices are on the newest beta softwares, you will be able to actually use your iPhone 
as a microphone for your Mac. On the third beta of iOS 16, they have been added some more shortcuts for accessibility. So if you go to accessibility and you go all the way down to accessibility shortcuts, you will have here three different new controls. So you will have control nearby devices, a new feature that allows you to control, of course, nearby devices, which need to be updated to the latest betas. And then we have live captions and you will also have mirror watch. So you can enable mirror watch if you have, of course, your watch updated to the newest beta. Now this right here is really cool. You know that on iOS 16 beta 3, Apple has added the new preview on the lock screen for the album art when you're listening to music. Well, you can have that for videos as well. So you can see if I'm watching a video and I have locked my device, now I can just tap right there. And in this case, I'm watching YouTube on Safari. It will actually show the thumbnail of that video and it actually looks really, really cool. So not just music, it works for videos as well. There's also a small change on the Photos app for the glyph icon here for albums. When you have a new album that is actually empty, doesn't have any pictures on it, it will show you a new icon right there. And now let's move on and quickly talk about the performance and battery life of iOS 16 Beta 3. So performance is actually quite good and it has improved a bit on the multi-core score, of course, based on Geekbench since the last beta and of course is something to be expected. So here we have Beta 2 and then we have here Beta 3. So interesting enough, the single core score is 1584 it's exactly the same on both betas but we have here an increase on the multi-core score so we have on beta 2 4079 and then we have 4135 on the third beta of ios 16. let's move on here quickly to the battery now battery has actually been quite decent with beta 3 overall the performance the experience with beta 3 has been way, way better than, of course, the second beta. And then we had, of course, the re-release of beta 3, which is which was even better. But again, talking about battery, actually, battery life is quite good. I'm really happy with the battery life that I'm getting here on the third beta on this iPhone 12 Pro Max, of course, with the battery health being at 90%. And using this as my daily driver, the battery life is actually quite good. So if that's something that worries you or is keeping you away from iOS 16, I think right now the beta has a quite stable battery life. And now let's move on to the release date for iOS 16 beta 4 and of course the public beta 2. So I'm expecting Apple to actually release both of these on the same day. Most likely there will be a slight delay for the second public beta, probably it will come a few minutes, maybe even hours after the dev beta, but they should release it on the same day. So the date should be probably tomorrow. I'm expecting Apple to release the fourth beta tomorrow, July 26th, or at least on Wednesday, since of course it has been two weeks since the re-release of iOS 16 beta 3. So what's next for iOS 16 beta? I expect Apple to actually keep the same two weeks schedule for now. So if you're right now on beta 3, probably tomorrow you will get beta 4 and then somewhere around August 9th or 10th, we will probably get beta 5. So from now, of course, they will stay probably for another two or three betas. They will stay on the two week schedule. And then when we get close to the public release, of course, they will move on to the one week schedule. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more iOS 16 beta videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.